I think the problem of inclusiveness of healthcare is a really, really important one in India. Vast hundreds of millions of people in our country don't have access to good quality healthcare. In fact, as everyone knows, something like 80% of uh, spending on healthcare comes from people's own pockets. And the quality of the healthcare that they access is very, 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 very uh, uneven. So uh, I think there are a couple of things that need to be done. Ultimately, healthcare is delivered by frontline government workers. That's typically the setup that's there in the National Rural Health Mission and so on. So the main import, most important thing is to strengthen the hands of these uh, health workers, or strengthen the hands of these health workers. And you can do that by training, by making sure there's the right number of uh, manpower, by the smart use of technology, by uh, data use. Uh, so, and all of these aspects will bring uh, much uh, better quality. I'll also add that you have the Anganwadi worker, the Asha worker, uh, and the auxiliary nurse midwife. I think they need to work together as a team, form a platform that brings uh, services together. So the second aspect, so I, I spoke about the frontline health worker and how to strengthen her hands, the three health workers in fact, to get them working as a team, to do everything possible, capacity building, training, use of technology, use of data, to make sure that interaction, that crucial interaction between the frontline health worker and the uh, patient is optimized. But the second aspect is something different. A lot of people don't demand good health. They take bad health as sort of uh, something that fate gives them. They don't view health as they should, as their fundamental and constitutional right. So I think the second part of the solution of inclusion and of scale is to make sure that people are mobilized and that they demand health as their basic right, they demand a seat at the table, that they vote for people who will ensure that they get uh, good health. So the, these are the reasons. I mean, people should regard uh, health as as fundamental as the air they breathe. A lot of work has to be done for that. You have to talk to communities, you have to get community leaders to come forward, you have to get panchayats, political leaders, celebrities who can reach communities, all to convey the message that grassroots communities need to demand health. Health is not something you supply to communities, it's something communities must demand.